In today's video, I am going to be exploring the darkest search engines. I went onto the deep web and I found a bunch of search engines. I'm gonna be starting off with DuckDuckGo and I'm gonna be going through all of these search engines until I get to the darkest one on level four. We're gonna go ahead and get this video started, starting off with level one. The first search engine that we're gonna go through on level one is DuckDuckGo. All right, we're gonna type in hacker on DuckDuckGo. Look at that, it's just gonna describe what a hacker is. Basically, if you go onto Google, you're gonna be given a definition of a hacker as well. You can take a look at it and there's a bunch of .com websites like PCMeg.com what to do when you have been hacked. And it's gonna show you this article. Like I said, this is not the deep web at this point, even though we're on the Tor browser, we are on a .com website, but I'm gonna go ahead and type in Hitman and it's gonna, it, it's look at that. It's gonna give me the Hitman video game. So we're gonna type in Hitman deep web. Can you really hire a Hitman on the deep web? Clearnet links, a lot of .com links. There's Reddit right there. Privacysavvy.com. You can clearly see that this is only level one of the darkest search engines because all the other search engines in this video are gonna be giving us back .onion results. So stay tuned for the next search engine that I'm gonna use. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in illegal on DuckDuckGo. Again, it's gonna give me a definition of illegal, prohibited by law, prohibited by official rules, unacceptable to or not performable by a computer. You can basically see that DuckDuckGo is kind of like Google. It's just gonna give you back definitions, it's gonna give you back top search results. You know that little thing on the right of the screen, Google has that as well. But the next search engine that we're gonna go through on level one is Onion Scanner. So I'm gonna go ahead on the Onion Scanner and type in hacker, BitHacker. It has an onion link for BitHacker, XNet Hackers, Hacker Services. It has scores on the side, 64. 4,000, oh wow. Let's click on anonymous hackers. There we go, professional and certified. We are part of the anonymous team. We are all over the world. We are too famous to present to us. And of course, they're gonna have their hacking services that they're gonna describe what they offer on their website. Emails and cell phone number databases, targeted email and number databases. Legitimate group of excellently performing hackers associates that are capable of carrying out cyber attacks in any form of complexity. These are the services they offer. Oh my God, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but we're gonna go back into the onion scanner. We're gonna type in Hitman and click search. Look at that. Dark Mamba, the Beso Mafia. Oh my God. Now, what the heck? The Albanian Mafia. We are present in the USA, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Albania. These are the services they offer. Oh my God. Assassination, $5,000 to $35,000. Life ruining for $3,000 to $25,000. Other for $1,000 to $20,000. They even have a section on this website where you can buy guns. They have an order button. Okay, that's messed up. But under the assassination, guns, knife, poison, or painless poison. Under life ruining, they have acid attack, facial scar, put someone on a wheelchair, blind somebody, castrate somebody, torture somebody, R-word somebody, beat somebody, and scare somebody. What kind of scare is gonna cost $20,000? What the hell? To become a YouTube prankster. I take that back. Don't become a YouTube prankster. You will lose all respect from everybody. To hire a hitman or a hacker, or if you have questions about their organization, please contact them. The email's gonna be blurred out. Their wicker is gonna be blurred out. They're copyrighted. So, I mean, if you go to the copyright office in the USA, you're probably gonna see X hacker. Copyright 2023 X hacker. What's the judge gonna think of? Like, what the hell, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and click Death Knell Hitman. Our aim is to be one of the most formidable Hitman services on the dark web. To accomplish this goal, rather than having one Hitman working on each assignment, we employ a team, a minimum of three individuals. This team includes only ex-military and former Hitman only. By employing individuals such as these, this ensures that we conduct recon, plan effectively, cover our asses, and enact our plan with military-like precision. That's kind of messed up. Your questions and requests will be answered within 72 hours guaranteed. So if you go to the top and you click on order, it's a sign up to submit your request or ask questions. You have to sign up for this page. From the last website we saw, they just had a contact us section, but to submit any request on this website, they have a section on their website in code where you have to sign up. They have a PGP key here that I'm gonna be blurring out. Like I said, you have to sign up for this service or login, which I'm not gonna be doing in this video. I'm just showing you what I could find on the darkest search engines. Murder for hire, $4,000 to $20,000. Oh my God. Abductions for $6,000 to $30,000. Open ended for $5,000 to $50,000. And there's a bloody picture. Oh, that's gonna be blurred out. Any sort of kidnapping, greater risk comes with abductions after all. So they're gonna charge you $6,000 to $30,000 for a kidnapping, man. That, oh my God, that's up, bro. And back to their about section. Read this if you guys want to. I'm not gonna be reading it in this video because we're gonna go back to Onion Scanner. We're gonna go ahead and type in illegal on Onion Scanner and hit search. There is actually no links for the search term illegal on Onion Scanner. <laughs> but anyways, the final search engine we're gonna go through in level one before we move on to level two is Torch. What I kind of like about Torch is that there's a section like right underneath the typing bar where it says carding, forum, prawn, Bitcoin, Western Union, and the hidden wiki. And if you click on any of these, for example, if I click on Bitcoin, it's gonna give me a bunch of links back from the Tor search. And like I said, all I did is click Bitcoin. You know, everybody's gonna be hitting prawn though. Like, look at this, the deep link Bitcoin private key shop. Anybody who claims to sell Bitcoin private keys is a scammer. Because in a Bitcoin private key shop, they're gonna ask you for clean Bitcoin so they can send you dirty Bitcoins and you guys can do whatever you want with the dirty Bitcoins. And those Bitcoins are typically blacklisted. But anyways, I'm gonna go back onto Torch and type in hacker. 
hacker to show you guys what would appear. And look at this, hacker for hire, hacker for hire, HPE sec, hire a hacker. Hire a hacker to pull yourself out of the trash that you have built. We offer the best services on the dark web and can boast about it with our conviction-like web server hacking, spear phishing, DDoSing, and a massive server offering up to 300 gigabytes per second from our servers in China. They want your full name, they want your email, a subject, and obviously you send them the message. I'm gonna be blurring out their telegram and their email. We are providing a simple and straightforward hacker for hire. We never stop responding to you just because you're a douchebag. We'll try to provide the best to our customers no matter what. We'll never stop providing our black hat hackers for your security related issues. Kind of weird English there, but it's okay. We're gonna go back onto Torch and type in Hitman to see what we're gonna find. The Middle East Hitman, potential identity leak. What? You are about to load a page from, yeah. If you are a logged in user, information about your identity might be acquired by that website. Um, no, let's go cancel. Let's click on um, the military hitman. Potential identity leak, what the? Hitman for hire, onion directory, potential identity leak. What the hell? Assassin circle hire a hitman, onion directory, potential identity leak. What the hell is going on? What if I click okay? Oh, that's not good. So let's go back onto torch and type in illegal and see what we're gonna find. What? List porn sites that are illegal, polar lights. The hell is this? Are you reading these descriptions, bro? Oh, bro, we're still on level one. We haven't even gotten onto level two yet. Anyways, that's all with all of the search engines on level one. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the search engines on level two, starting with Ahmia. So on Ahmia, we're gonna type in hacker and hit search. Number one, hire a professional hacker. Hire a hacker. Open link in a new tab. How to hack school website and change grades. How to remove mobile tracker from Android. Free spy apps for Android. These are free articles that you can read, but they have a section on the top here. If you click it, it says hire a hacker. Hacker. Hire a certified ethical hacker to solve any problem. Let us know what is bothering you. Our representative will get in touch with you to help you out. You leave your name, email, subject, and describe what you need. The services they offer. They have crypto recovery services. Hire a phone hacker. Hire a website hacker. Bank fraud recovery. Background check service. Social media hacking. iCloud hack service. Anti-hack services. I don't know what that means. Please give it a read and let me know. And you can fix your credit score on this website. Oh, that's, that's messed up though. We're gonna go back onto Ahmia and we're gonna type in Hitman to see what we're gonna find now. Hire a Hitman, Hitman Services, hire a contract killer. The Destruction Network Hitman. It says we just kill Destruction Network with a picture of a Toyota. <laughs> That's a Toyota right there, right? For nine years, the qualified and experienced professionals at the Destruction Network have provided our customers with top quality services around the world. Their independent contractors who form part of the Destruction Network are more than just killers for hire. They are professional soldiers who destroy all for money, not for a nation or for a cause. All their contractors are experienced ex-military, hackers, ex-law enforcement professionals. They don't ask any questions. They just perform their duty and get paid. They go wherever and whenever the mission calls to fulfill their customers' wishes. They have a paragraph here trying to convince you on why you should choose them. They have a frequently asked questions section. Are you freaking kidding me? Obviously their contact form. The services they offer. Hitman, firearm, knife, decapitation, overdose, suicide, torture, accident. Oh my goodness. But again, we're gonna go back onto Ahmia and we're gonna type in illegal on Ahmia to see what we're gonna find. Buy illegal gambling worldwide shipping. What the hell? The ultimate casino killer. This unique software designed to make money from online casino. The ultimate casino killer. Let's take a look at this one. What the hell? 20.81 USD. You can play with the following crypto. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Wow, what the hell? They claim that this software works with the 999 Dice gambling site. Like I said, take everything here with a grain of salt. Once you send this person any form of cryptocurrency, you're gonna get a download link most likely, and they can take your cryptocurrency. This software is probably just going to infect your computer with 60 different viruses. And on top of that, the guy is gonna run away with all your Bitcoin. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my cart. Please log in or create an account to proceed with your order, which I'm not gonna be doing in this video. If the next search engine that we're gonna take a look at on level two is Kraken. Kraken is kind of the same thing as Torch. Like it has their wiki, it has a market, card, PayPal, escrow, drugs, iPhone, guns, and I don't know what list is, but whatever. Their advertisement section is pretty freaking sketchy, not gonna lie. I swear to God, that looks like the dark web Times Square. But we're gonna go on Kraken and we're gonna type in hacker. Oh, these are Onion V2 links. They're not gonna, none of them are gonna work. Problem loading site, Onion V2, problem loading site. What the hell, Kraken? Okay, so actually I went through 15 different links and all of them are not working. For some reason, Kraken is only giving me V2 Onion links. This is what a V2 onion link looks like, and this is what a V3 onion link looks like. The point I'm trying to tell you is V2 onion links don't work, therefore 
every link I'm clicking is not going to open. The last search engine that we're gonna take a look at on level two before we move on to level three is Haystack. So Haystack is plain and simple. They have a Go Premium section, which is kind of sketchy for a deep web search engine, a dark net search engine. 250,000 onions that are indexed. We're gonna type in hacker to see what we're gonna find. V2 onion links, what the hell? V2 onion link, V2 onion link, what the hell? So what happened, what do I get if I go premium? Okay, cool, yeah, you can get historical onions that have long since gone. You can't do that though. How are you gonna search historical onions that are long since gone if you can't open up V2 onion links? They're all V2 onion links. So you're gonna pay for premium and still not be able to open up any of the onion links. What the hell? All right, onwards to level three of the darkest search engines. The first search engine that we're gonna be taking a look at on level three is Tor66. On Tor66, we're gonna go ahead and again, we have a bunch of black market Times Square type of vibe going on. On Tor66, we're gonna type in hacker and look at these V3 onion links. Thank you. Hire a hacker, hacking services. Let's take a look at the hacker community. The most advanced and trustable hackers on the dark net. They're telling you based off their availability. Red means they're not available, green means they're available, and they're telling you based off their score. Do I believe the scores? Do I believe that the person making the website is probably DPHS? Maybe. These are the services they provide. They have hacking web services, computers and smartphones, malware development for any operating system, social media hacking, change grades in schools and university, getting private information from someone, exploits, trojans, backdoors, Android rat, key loggers, SQL injection attacks, DOS attacks, phishing attacks to get password from selected targets, forensics data analysis, password recovery, and every other project related to hacking. Pretty bold claim, but it's a simple website. I'm not gonna spend too long on it. We're gonna click, what about this one here? Hire a hacker. This looks like a cool website. Need hacking service? Contact us. Plain and simple. They just want your name, your email, the service you want. Buy, exploit, website hacking, email hacking, ID clone and hijacked, bank related, Windows and Mac hacking, Android and iPhone hacking, social account hacking. Oh my God. So wait, they can claim to hack into an iPhone? They have tracking, spying, and others slash custom. What the hell? A $3,000 budget of Android slash iPhone hacking. That's the message I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave a fake email, fake name, and hit send. Is it gonna work? No way it's gonna work. No, <laughs> successful. Check your inbox for a reply from, oh my God, I actually just sent him a message. I'm so sorry if you're watching this video, the creator of this website. I'm just showing how these things work, if they actually work. But let's type in Hitman on Tor 66 and see what we're gonna find. Hire a Hitman, Hitman services, hire a contract killer. Oh, uh, that's going to, oh my God. Oh my God, that's gonna load. Okay, this website was taking way too long to load. So I decided to get up and give my Husky Stormy a treat. Honestly, he's such a good boy. Even having quick moments like this means the absolute world to me. And I wish Stormy could live forever. I gave him a good pet and closed my eyes tightly to go back to my computer so I can give you my genuine reaction to what was on this website. Hi, you're a hitman, hitman services. Okay, so there's pictures. What the hell, there's, that's a pistol. Those are videos. Yo, what do those papers say? Can somebody please zoom in and read those papers? What do those papers say? I can't even see that. Yo, they have pictures of weapons, a paper beside it that's probably trying to prove that this website is legitimate. I mean, what the hell? Watch the video. Please know that our contacts are the same as those written on paper. What the hell? Yo, there's a video. Am I going to watch it? I'm not going to watch it. I mean, that's a messed up website, but I'm going to go back onto Tor 66 and type in illegal. The Oscar market, the Orez real game. What the heck is the Orez real game? This is Orez game. Do you want to play? Here's a few things you need to follow. You could play if you are in this age, 22 to 80. If you are Muslim, you cannot participate in games. Game. Time period of game is one month to four months. Total 10 levels of games, three rounds. There is no any illegal activity or no any illegal tasks we give you. So don't worry about this. Should I join? What? How to apply? You need to pay game fees, $25 in any crypto. Ask an email, write your full name, age, religion, country, name, and one line for reason to play and send to orez at onionmill.org. If you are selected, then your game will start and we will start to give you tasks to perform. If you reject, then you will receive our email of rejection too. If you are rejected, then there'll be no refund. And if you win the game, you will get a hot and super surprise. What? There is a game on the deep web. Like I said, tell me in the comment section if I should play or res game. Hey, sorry for interrupting the video. I just want to quickly tell you that this video you're watching right now is not sponsored by anybody. If you want to show some support to my channel, Crypto NWO, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Put on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video like this on the channel and hit the like button. Let's get this video to 50K likes. Again, sorry for interrupting. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. The final search engine that we're gonna take a look at on level three before we move on to the darkest search engine on this list, it's just called the Bobby search engine. So for the Bobby search engine, again, under the search bar, there's market, prawn, carding, drugs. There's another one there, that's messed up. What, you can just click it and go to, what the hell? There's transfer guns, hack, wiki. Super verified and 100% working links are indexed. Of course, their advertisement section is gonna look like the dark web version of Times Square. That's 
messed up that they have just a button there to get to such a legal activity. The demon search engine. I found another search engine. Perfect timing. Search demon. What the hell? It looks like every other search engine on the dark web, but it search demon. But anyways, back onto the Bobby search engine. I'm going to type in illegal and see what pops up. Red rooms, torture rooms, underground. What the hell? Oh, okay. Killings and torture. Lots of gifts happening. Very messed up gifts. Underground videos. Only real underground community people who like R, snuff, torture, and murder. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, this site is extreme, disgusting, immoral, borderline, unbelievable, and gruesome, and it is 100% illegal. That's a messed up description. You sign up with a username, a password, a pin code, buy unlimited membership, send exactly 0.000465 BTC. That's not even a lot of Bitcoin. Oh, that's messed up. So this is easily accessible for a very cheap price, man. I'm gonna be getting out of this website right now. All right, onwards to level four. There's only one search engine on level four because this is by far the darkest search engine on this list. We're gonna be taking a look at Excavator. This website, Excavator, is really freaking messed up. This is the most messed up search engine that you'll find on the dark web because you can type in anything on Excavator. You can type in hacker on Excavator, for example. Like for example, if you scroll long enough, you're gonna be giving back actual links of people that claim to be hackers, right? Like hacking services, hire a hacker now. But here's the problem with Excavator because if you scroll down even more or if you click any of the wrong links, it will show you something absolutely petrifying, ab absolutely illegal, horrifying back. Look at that. That's like that pops up right there. You go onto the next page and then look at the exchange right there. Let's click on WhatsApp Hacker Worldwide update 4th of February, 2022. Yes, it's true. With the help of SS7, we make this tool for you. You can hack any mobile phone number on WhatsApp in the world, not only hack, but you can remove two-step verification from WhatsApp of any person. That's why dark web crazy. That's the fakest program I've ever seen in my life. This tool works for all countries, not working only for Peru only. You don't need to off your Windows firewall because it's a safe tool. It's not a safe tool. You're going to be getting 150 computer viruses off it. If you go on excavator and type in Hitman and you scroll down, you're going to be given back again. Results for Hitman. Hire a killer. Hire a Hitman. Contract murderers. I found something called Adonite. We are an organization offering our services worldwide without exception. We are currently two people offering our services. We work with the utmost care for the safety of our clients. This is a fundamental part of their business. They can break into houses for you. They can also kill the person of your choice, kidnap them, spy on them, or whatever. Look at this. Here's some of the different prices of services. Member breaking, warning for $1,500 to warn somebody. Burglary or damage for $2,000. Spying on somebody for 14 days, $2,000. Murder to these two guys cost three bands. Kidnapping is going to be $5,000 so to kidnap somebody for a month. What, after the month, you're just going to let them free? And back onto Excavator, uh, see if there's anything else. And of course, look at this garbage. We go up to the top and we're going to type in illegal. And I kind of don't even want to see what's going to pop up for illegal. Again, fake BTC V3.22. The Arez Real Game popped up again. Then there is obviously more illegal links like this one here. Oh, are you freaking kidding me, bro? This stuff's absolutely freaking sick. This stuff's absolutely crazy. Man. I'm just going to close out of it. We're done with Excavator. Ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far into the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another video like this and smash that like button, especially if you enjoyed this video. This is the first time I made a video like this. But that's all for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web.